in order for the audience to believe in and be engaged by a Shakespearean character, they have to come across as a real person on the stage. Or maybe we have no error. So even when I read that, when they said they have to come across as a real person on the stage, the way that the sentence was constructed, it looks like they're referring to the audience. In order for the audience to do this thing, they, the audience, has to come across as a real person on the stage. Well, that's not what they're talking about. They're really talking about the actors. So this they here is confusing. It could be, are they talking about the audience? Are they talking about the, the characters on stage? So I would say the error right here is in part C, and I would change they to the, if I were editing this, I would change this to the actors. The actors have to come across as a, well, actually, I would say the actors, you, it, well, you would either say the actors have to come across, have to come across as real people, or you could say the actor, the actor has to come across as a real person on the stage. So that would feel a lot better. In order for the audience to believe in and be engaged by a Shakespearean character, and that's good, we're, we're doing a Shakespearean character, not Shakespearean characters, so that's why it's good to do a, the singular right over here. The actor has to come across as a real person on the stage. So this feels much better. And so I would definitely say the er error was in part C.